You always find yourself in the weirdest situations. All right, so we had a party, what, two years back? Bryce did the video for, right? Mm -hmm. So DJ Chachi, New York City resident, fucking great DJ, right? I met him back in the day at Torch's nightclub, right? Had some connections there. I was bartending and waiting tables. So he did our party. He's a fucking nightclub DJ. So he did our backyard summer barbecue party, right? Right. Fucking so blowout. Chachi, blowout. Lit. Shout out to Chachi. He's fucking amazing at what he does. So Chachi was lined up the following second party, second summer to do the party, um, be the DJ. And I wanted to outdo the year before. So one of the connections I made at, at that nightclub I was working at um, in Newburgh was uh, Jada Kiss's DJ, right? So his resident DJ. So I hit him up. I said, dude, I want Kiss to perform at my house for a party. You have a connection. He, he connected me with this dude, Brian. Uh, fucking awesome guy so i hit kiss and the agent up the year before to set him up for the following year's party and he was locked in but he said listen if we tour or something happens a month or two out we're gonna have to move the date around uh fast forward so kiss is on on schedule for for the party and um we go to um i had to have a backup plan if kiss if kiss couldn't couldn't make it so driving down to the garden, uh, me and my wife were driving to the Rangers game, and I'm I'm like, Chris, if if Jadakiss can't make this date, I don't think he can. I think he's going to be touring with LL Cool J. What should we do? And I remember driving down the fucking Henry Hudson, and uh, I'm passing Harlem, and a Dipset song is on, and I'm like, dude, I'm. I said, Chris, how long do you think it's going to be until I, am get Cameron on the phone? And she's like, I don't know, a day? I don't know. And uh, I start thinking, so when you're networking, especially with social media, you got to be three layers ahead. You could literally contact anyone you want if you do it the right way. Yeah. And I called or I shot a text to my boy who happens to be friends with a chick that used to chill with camera. She gave me the agent or one of his boys, um, it's actually his brother, uh, contact. So about five minutes later, I'm on the phone with the brother. I sent him the video that Bryce made of the party and uh, I'm on the phone with Cameron at the garden. That there, that's a sale in itself. So networking and selling. Yeah. So mm -hmm. it's not playing into, dude, I love you, da da da. Can you play my party? It's, yo, what up, Cam? It's Drew. Um, listen, I got Kiss lined up for the party. If he can't do it, can you make it? Why am I putting him on second, right? Why isn't he first? Right. So I knew that there. Get his um, head gone. Yo, I gotta go. I, thanks for calling me back. Can I hit you tomorrow? I gotta. I'm walking into the garden. I'm down in the city. I'm going to catch the Rangers game. Shit is, I can't even fucking hear you, bro. I'll hit you tomorrow. Why am I blowing off camera, right? And sugar dugger. He's just sugar fucking dugger. sugar dugger. Sugar's a good dude, but he was he was playing around with numbers, and I would tell him it again, which I'll end up seeing him again. But so hold up now. Okay, so stop there. Let then, then about a week later, you're dressed up as a school teacher backstage with Jadakiss. Yep. So, so how'd that, that how that happen? We don't want to know how you got there. We want to know what happened. All right. So what happened was, Sugar invites me to um, a Barclays event with all these hip hop, Kiss, French Montana, fucking you name it, was performing. Beanie Siegel, The Locks, Cameron. Wow. So I wow. went to. Um, I went to the show with my boy, uh, his girl at the time, my wife, to Barclays. So we were set up to meet to meet Sugar at um, Barclays, going backstage. There were so many high, high level fucking performers. There was like 30 rappers on stage at this event um, that getting backstage, just in the street to get into the fucking backstage door, you couldn't even get in. French Montana, two changes standing next to me waiting to get in. They were not just letting the floodgates open. So you needed, you know, the, the performer. Cam had to be there first before I could even get in. I'm on the list. Sugar's there. He's got my stuff and, you know, got got our VIP stuff. But um, we're waiting. And I, I specifically said, which was so idiotic and just random. This is crazy. But <laughs> this is about to get so Bean, yeah, Beanie Siegel's, um, I found out later, it was Beanie Siegel's security guard was next to me, right? Because I'm backstage and I'm, I'm like, oh, this is the guy that tried to fight me. Um I told the guy, I'm like, bro, stop fucking bumping into me. I'm the only white guy there, which I'm in regular. I'm from fucking Newburgh. I'm not even looking at it. Like, but they're probably like, who's this rich white boy? Who the fuck's this guy? <laughs> right. 
And uh, I'm next to French Montana's DJ, this chick. She's like, I got it. French is on, you know, next, whatever. But French ain't here yet. You can't come, right? So it's being very... And Beanie Siegel's fucking um, security guard keeps bumping into me. I'm like, bro, I don't give a fuck who you think you know, whatever. Stop bumping me. I'm not some... Stop trying to fucking bully me. And um, I said, you know, what am I being a hard ass for with this guy, right? He's being a... And I, I gave him a tap. I'm like, God damn, bro. You fucking solid. <laughs> and I don't know what I was thinking, but I said to him, my boy's there. My boy's a fed. He's fucking probably got a gun out of himself. And he listened to me say, my wife and, and his girl are down the street just waiting. I said, God damn, bro, you're solid. Um, what'd I say? You would bend me backwards or something. <laughs> no. No, no, no. This is what I said. I'm looking at this stocky, short, stocky fucking strong dude and i said you would blow my back out no <laughs> why i said that was i'm i'm six three i'm i'm picturing having to wrestle wrestle this guy yeah and my back, back going cramping. yeah oh. yeah well he's picturing him i understand that blowing your back out <laughs> which is not good no that's bad you shouldn't and say that he, to anyone ever. no and immediately sugar's like oh motherfucker you ain't getting in now what the fuck you doing <laughs> The entire crowd, two chains behind me. My boy's like, you're fucking, that's your shot. I'm, I'm going over there, you're shot. The guy did not like it at all. The guy, he tried to fight me. I'm like, dude, relax, fucking, I'm not gay, all right? My wife's over there. Relax, I just want my back blown yeah, out. Relax. <laughs> Stop. So, so we couldn't even get into fucking backstage. Sugar gave up. So we had to buy tickets for the concert, go in. I'm texting Sugar like, I never thought he was going to come into the crowd, get us, and literally bring us backstage. I'm like, we're fucking done. Yeah. So we buy tickets on StubHub or one of these fucking things. We go in. I'm all pissed off. I'm hitting him. I'm telling him, dude, I'm in these seats. So he came, which was honestly so fucking wild. He came through the crowd, got us, still pissed off. I have a video of it walking through the fucking crowd backstage to then uh, going right backstage with Cam and then walking right on, on stage with Cam as if fucking we were supposed to be there. So I find out Kiss is on next. I tell Sugar, dude, I'll meet you in the back. I know... I just start name dropping. I gotta I'm go with blow Brian. this guy's back I'll out. meet you in the back. I'm with, <laughs> I'm with Kiss's guy too. I, I know I'm going to link with him. So they come on stage. Danny comes on stage, which Danny's a good friend of mine now. He's a fucking great dude. He's been rolling and an agent with Rough Riders now for over 30 years. DMX to Jay-Z to all these fucking guys. He is the link, right? So he's on stage. He's like, bro, you got to get off. I said, Danny, where's Brian? No, I didn't, I didn't even know his name. I said, where, yo, where's Brian at? He goes, you know, Brian, what's up with Brian? I said, we have a concert this summer. I mean, I'm not going to get off stage. I'll, I'll rock with Kiss and we'll talk business after. Is that cool? I'll hit you with a couple hundred. What do you need? No, 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 you're good. If you if you know Brian, we're good. I don't know Brian too well, but I'm at least. You know his name. So, so I penciled. Basically, I said, bro, we're, we're penciled in. But he said, yeah, you could chill. You could rock. So we're on stage with Jada Kiss at that point. My wife's like, no big deal. But she's like, this is fucking interesting. What did you just do? Um, Danny brings us directly after Kiss walks off stage. Come, you'll talk to Kiss. You talk business with Kiss. And that's where it's fucking hilarious. We walk through, I have videos of it, but we walk through the guy that I, I, I said he would blow my back out, <laughs> who ended up being Beanie Siegel's fucking um, security, security guard. I run into Beanie Siegel. I say something in regards to, bro, you're lucky that Meek Mill came out in Philly. I didn't know Meek Mill knocked his, his crew knocked his teeth out a couple months before hilarious but guys are like who the fuck is this dude so i was like dude i'm an accountant who are you guys what do you guys do for work <laughs> what do you guys do for work i showed, um, I showed <laughs> Jada Kiss the, uh, what do you do for work i'm in i'm in jada kiss's fitting room sitting there with um beanie siegel on my right kisses on my left and he's watching the video bryce made of our party the summer before and i he knows newberg right? know kiss that. knows newberg he's from yonkers he lives in white plains and um he's like bro smoking a blunt he goes Yo, Danny, what the fuck? You got fucked. This is Newburgh, motherfucker? What the fuck? You in New Windsor, Newburgh? You got palm trees in your backyard? <laughs> Danny, what the fuck? And he, he turns to me and Kiss is calling me. He's like, yo, Disney. What the fuck? You think you live in Disneyland? Yo, Disney. <laughs> so he's referring to me as Disney. Fucking hilarious. Um, wow. Yeah. Oh, uh, that's, that's, that's how I linked with Kiss and Yo, I Andrew came the type of motherfucker with, to make Jada Kiss Jada watch Kiss. a video on his phone <laughs> <laughs> that's what he did just hand him a three minute video <laughs> what well, was so wild about that whole thing who are you Andrew watch back here back in the day Jada Kiss and Beanie Siegel they were big fucking they used to battle drop we gotta put you gotta other. send the picture of you backstage to him because your oh. outfit selection is also that uh, unbelievable that it was a different concert unbelievable bro but um Beanie Beanie Siegel 
and, and Jadakus used to battle. So they were sitting left and right of me. There's mm-hmm. probably 10 other people in this fitting room. Doors shut. And I don't know what the fuck I was thinking. I wasn't drinking nothing. I just blacked out. And I was like, yo, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. And people are like, what the fuck is he doing? I don't know these people. And uh, I said, you're, t- you're telling me we got Beanie fucking Siegel here and Jadakus and we're not finishing this fucking battle? They used to threaten each other, kill each other, and mixtape drops and all this shit when... 2000s when you guys weren't even fucking and beanie siegel looked at me and he said bro shut the fuck up and put his finger right in my face i'm like all right fair enough <laughs> jd kiss hitting the blunt like bro disney you're wild bro you're fucking wild <laughs> but that led to a couple other concerts actually they they performed last night in jersey i was gonna go to see locks so I, I saw the locks a couple times on on stage we actually walked jd kiss and uh chic luch and, and styles at one Sheep, of the um bro. The concerts down in, in in Manhattan, we went at this little theater. Uh, me and my boy Pete and John, we had to walk them through the fucking crowd. So they they're not rolling with thirty guys anymore, right? But Danny, I'm chilling with Danny. We went out to dinner before, linked with Danny. Um, we're we're out to dinner, and he goes, um, "Yo, you guys could walk walk help us walk them through." I'm like, "What the fuck are you talking about? Like backstage is there's not a different door." So at this venue, wherever the fuck we were, um, you had to literally walk the the performers through the crowd to get backstage. That's weird as fuck. It was it was hilarious. So Danny's Sketchy. like, "Bro, if if we fight, you're good to fight." And I'm like, "Yeah, yeah of course." So um, that that I think is he's just a real you guys would he's a real regular fucking person. This dude, he knows everybody, and he knew uh, he wasn't. I'm not bullshitting him at all, and it's just one of those things. Fucking, he's like, "Bro, if you." If we fight, you fight. That's how you get down. I'm like, yeah. Like, that's it. That's Fuck. all it is. Yo, so um, Andrew was up on stage at some point when Jada was up, and they had water situated for each person. Yep. And the, there's, like, water. There's only a couple waters, right? And it was so <laughs> packed and chaotic. And I think it was the time you were walking them through as security. I think it was that time. We were down in Irving, Irving Plaza, it was? And yeah. he, he, so we're at this show. I'm, yeah. sitting, I'm standing next to Nino Man. Uh, we're on stage at this Nino point. Nino Man. Waiting for these guys to... to rock and i i'm not drinking but i'm like fucking dude i need it i need a water like, this is crazy and uh i look over at danny i'm like bro i need a water he's like i don't know like come on this guy and he could tell i'm a character but i'm looking at the corner of the fucking dj stage so we're on stage as dj's at a, a stage like a foot high and there's three bottles of water there's a bottle of like tequila vodka whatever right and i'm not putting together those three bottles of chic kiss and, and styles but I'm like, fuck it. Even if they are, like, I'm taking a bottle of water. water. They'll figure this shit out. <laughs> right, right, right. So I, I grab a random ass bottle. It was like a tall fucking, never saw the label before. It wasn't like a pull in the spring bottle. Like, they knew I took their fucking water. <laughs> and um, they, they come out on stage, cool. They did like two or three songs. And then they, you know, they, they have their mics or whatever. They're like, yo, grab them, open the bottle of water, taking a sip. And Styles P was, um, I had Styles water in, in my hand. So she grabs a bottle kiss and i'm standing right there with the bottle and and styles gra- goes he's like what the fuck is my fucking what the fuck he's like yo pool grab me what the fuck and he looks up at me and i'm standing there like <laughs> and instead of uh we had a running not a running but i met him years and years ago and i was like bro what are you gonna you're gonna like bully me like fucking i took your water by mistake bro relax and he was literally middle of his fucking performance Sa- yeah. <laughs> you said that to him and he's like and Danny's laughing. He's like, yo, this dude is fucking out of a fucking box. Just like ridiculous. It's right? just amazing what you can get away with if you just do Act it. Act regular. Yeah. Um, you just but after, after the event, he was like, bro, he approached me. He's like, what the fuck are you drinking my bottle of water for? What the fuck? And like he said something. And I'm like, bro, I was fucking thirsty. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm not even thirsty. thinking. But my, my buddy actually videoed me talking to him about it. It's fucking crazy. But um, yeah, those those guys are all regular fucking people. I mean- Sugar with with Cam, he the whole they were going to perform at the party last summer that didn't happen, but um, that that kind of fell through, and it, it was interesting that um, everyone in the rap industry or a lot of those industries know each other. Mm-hmm. So I, I ended up with um, a little conflict with with this guy because numbers changed a couple times, and I stand on bi- principle with business, you don't change numbers, right? So if you lock in a deal, you know handshake text message word whatever um you don't you know move the the numbers around so the the numbers changed two or three times probably up 15 or 20 grand and uh 
I basically told this dude eventually, like, bro, I'm not some fucking white boy with daddy's money. Like, who the fuck, you know, whatever. And um, I think I I said something along the lines of um, he was he was uh, breeding these little golden doodles. I said something like, "I'm gonna take your fucking puppies or some fucking dumb shit." <laughs> but um, me you do got good you got good uh, one liners and comebacks yeah, for people. We're FaceTiming. Yeah. You got good ones. Me, yeah, Sugar, Cam, out. Cam's laughing. <laughs> I'm arguing with this guy on FaceTime outside of a hospital. I was already the day I found out my my dad was diagnosed with cancer. Anthony so Valley. I was fucking bugging out. Same day. So I basically told him, fuck off, right? Uh, he blocked me. I then, you know, hit him on Instagram. He blocked me there. I blocked him, whatever, playing stupid games. But um, yeah, Ki Danny, Kiss' his agent, found out about that because I said something like, bro, you're, you're fucking garbage anyway. Kiss wants less money and Kiss is way better. He's top five, whatever. I said that to Sugar. Come to find out, um, they were doing a podcast, Mace and, and Cam, and instead of Mace, it was supposed to be Jadakiss. So they were talking that whole time and and it ended up being um they kind of argued over it like fucking why are you going to be up in Newburgh? I'm at that white boys event whatever. And um they ended up having a little bit of a discussion. So Danny found out I'm telling him I'm going to steal his fucking puppies and whatnot. <laughs> so yeah. that that night at that concert Danny's like, "Bro, whatever happened with you and Cam? Like there's no beef, right? You're good." I'm like, "How the fuck do you know about that?" But it's a very I don't know, where it gets around with in the industry and whatnot. <laughs> Yo, 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 oh, you yo. fucking know your things. <laughs> Guys are looking sharp. Zach Dingy, Tony Capoletti. Two Hoops, Three Legs Podcast, where we share business tips, interview experts, and travel the world. This week on Two Dudes, Three Legs. 